Hi guys, it's Cindy with Pups and Crochet. And I have a couple things I want to tell you about. Okay, besides, make sure you check out the community tab. There is always something special in there for you to find. Help these, help them get to their next milestone. You might love their channel. There's a lot of newbies out there too, with new channels just starting up, especially like our Jen Reeves, Butterfly Dolphin Crochet, and then our winner, Michelle, Michelle Creates in Kansas is also a new channel. She was our grand prize winner. I told you that in the last video. She started a new channel. Also, Tap Mama in the Bed Brigade is trying to reach her 500 to get her community tab. I thank you all that jumped in to help her. She still needs a few more. So if you can check her out, help her get her tab. It is awesome. And I... And I have got a few more on there on my community tab. I keep listing them that are trying to reach their next milestone and trying to reach their 500 and trying to, to get their community tab. So they can put their special notes in there. They can do, you know, all kinds of things. So I was very privileged and honored to get mine. And I was so excited. You know, I just started this looking for baby blankets and you know who you are that sucked me in and had me start my own channel, which I'm glad you did because I'm having a blast doing it. <laughs> okay, so I got a couple things I wanna tell you before I show you what I got from Annie's. And it's just, it's a small yarn thing, but I just wanted to show you because I was so excited. Okay, so a couple things I wanna tell you is, make sure you look up about these, this German Shepherd that got in, got loose, and ended up getting into a gorilla cage at the zoo. Now the gorillas didn't know what to do, so they're freaking out and they're chasing this German Shepherd. I didn't, I didn't uh, get to finish reading it to find out how they saved him, but they did get the German Shepherd out, and no, eight, and no gorillas were hurt. The German Shepherd wasn't hurt, but he was probably like, "WTF? What's going on? How did I end up down here?" <laughs> and then there is another one I was watching yesterday that's why I said in my last video baboon instead of bamboo but he is a this happened in Africa at the AAA which is the um, African ape um, Avengers or something like that is AAA but it, it's saving the apes because there's so much deforestation and so much um, people killing them, which is just awful. So this company went out there, they started it, they're saving all these apes and these gorillas and everything and they're just beautiful. Well, in the sanctuary, the one girl watches a certain, the certain gorillas. And so she was watching them and she noticed now in the gorilla world, as I was watching it, you have to take the title to be the great ape. So as he grew from a rescue, as he grew, he lost his mommy to poachers, which was really sad. But as he grew, he grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And then he took on the great ape. He won, now he is the leader of this whole pack of apes. There has been a couple that tried to get him. They did not succeed because he won. I will try to find the link to this, this thing, but it was just so amazing. So they noticed, his keeper noticed that something was going on and he kept carrying something in his hand and would go off into the, the bush. But because where their refuge is, the jungle is around them. So the jungle animals don't come near the rescue animals. They, and the rescue animals don't want to go back to the jungle. They're happy, they're safe, they're fed, they're like, yay. So anyway, they, what they did was they could not figure out what he had in his hand. So she started following him as little quietly as she could without setting him off because she noticed he wasn't playing with the other apes. He wasn't being their leader. He wasn't doing what he normally does. He was very secretive with something in his hand. 
so they didn't know what it was. Finally, they saw it because the other gorillas started seeing them following him and wanted to know what he had in his hand. So he knew that what was in his hand was in danger. When he opened up his hand, there was this little thing that is known, I forgot what it's called now, I should have wrote it down, but what it does is it cries like a human baby. That's their cry in the jungle. So it cries like a human baby. It's this big and it, it loved this gorilla and wanted to stay with this gorilla. But when the other gorilla started seeing that he had something, he was afraid that they were gonna do something to him. So they have a video of him reaching up and putting this little, I think he's a little bitty monkey. He, they only get this big, it's like a monkey group. And they he put him up on the top of the thing so he could get back into the jungle and away from the other apes and gorillas, which was amazing. So you have to check that out because it was funny. It, it was just too cute and too funny. And they also have a page where if you want to help them with more rescues to get more animals in because of them poaching them, they're trying to save as many as they can. Okay, so then I have to tell you, I was in the car with Robert and we're driving. And I can see him like out of my peripheral vision. Now I'm on the highway and we're going down the Champagne and I'm driving. And so I'm going like 75 to 80 on the highway there. And... All of a sudden, out of my, I see him, he raised his hand up and just went against his head like six times. And I'm like, I wasn't going to say anything. I just sat there driving, holding my lips together so I didn't laugh. And then all of a sudden he goes, I don't know why I did that. I just had an itch on my head. I don't know why I did that. Okay, now I'm crying. I was laughing so hard. I'm like, why? <laughs> I'm like, why are you doing this to me? I can't see to drive. <laughs> I almost had to pull over. Oh, I almost had to pull over because I could not see. Oh my God. It still makes me laugh to this day. And this was just a couple of days ago and I'm still laughing about it. And then... <laughs> I'll tell you, we were sleeping and I had woke up for a minute and I'm like getting myself situated again and then he's sound asleep and as he's sleeping he just goes ho 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 and then he's sound asleep and I'm sitting <laughs> and I'm trying not to laugh to wake him up. But I'm like, <laughs> I guess from talking about Christmas and July fairies, he just was thinking about Santa Claus or whatever. And so he did. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Get myself together. Get myself together. Make my makeup run. Okay. So. I'm going to show you what I got from Annie's that I've been wanting to try. I know it's not new, but I've been wanting to try it. So, I got butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Now, this one is called Meadow. See, you can see the colors on this side. They got some pinks and grays and blues and greens and whites. I don't know what down in the center, but isn't that pretty? So I, these are four, 546 yards and they are number three. And what are not they? They're anti-pilling anti acrylic. So I believe they're hundred percent acrylic. Yes, maybe, yes, I guess so, but they are machine washable and dryable, so these are awesome to use. So this one is called Meadow, and I got, I think two, yeah, I got two, two of them. But this is how it's supposed to come out. 
when you sew it, the cream and then all the colors come out. Okay. Then I just found this one so beautiful. So I got four of these and same specs and everything. This one is called Wildflowers. Isn't that beautiful? So you got your purple into your light pink, then it goes into an orangish color. And then this is like a very light peachy color. So you can see, you know, the purple, how it comes out and then it just lines up. So it's very beautiful. And I fell in love with this color, so I got four of them. So they came in a three pack that's already wrapped, awesome. And then an extra one, cause I ordered four. So I wanted to show you that because they, on the Squish Factor, on Cindy's Squish Factor, I am telling you, this is a 10 and a half. It is so squishy and comes oh my god is it tough i can't wait to work this up so i can show you because it is so beautiful and it's so soft and it's premier butterfly so if you get a chance i mean 546 shards just one's a good thing to do something with but oh my god is it pretty and there's oh i just noticed in the center look there's a deep purple that goes into that light purple isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, that's pretty. That's not just pretty, that's party. Yeah, when you like something from the south, it's party. It's not pretty, it's party. <laughs> so that is what I wanted to show you. They had a little special going on, so I got those. And I'm like, yay, that's the one I wanted, and it's on sale, woo hoo. Go Sandy, go Sandy, go, go, go Sandy. Oh. One more thing before I go. Today, which is the 15th of June, this might be put up a day later or whatever, but Robert's parents are celebrating their what number anniversary? 48. 48th anniversary, 48. And the funny thing is, is when he lived across the street from her family, when she was born, he was there. His, Robert's dad was there because he played with her brothers and stuff. So he was there the day she came home from the hospital. So he, her family knew him longer than their own daughter. And then they stayed together. They, he watched her grow up. She was always around. She got ticked off with him when she was like 10 or 11 and threw his whole stereo system out of the window. I remember her telling me these stories and he was so mad because it was an A-track player or whatever. And so, she was a, teenager. a teenager, teenager, wrong, teenager, not 10, teenager. So basically they both knew they liked each other. So she was doing things to take him off, to make him pay attention to her, which girls do. So that's what we do. That is what we do. So they have been married since forever he was there the day she was born and they have been together ever since married 48 years that's not counting dating 48 years but he has known her since day one when she came home from the hospital so we go happy anniversary happy anniversary happy anniversary happy anniversary and there is not, you can't say that nowadays about so many marriages because people just find other things to do and they decide to wander off. But these guys stayed together through all this time and I'm so happy. So happy anniversary to you. I love you both. I love you, everybody. Thank you for being part of our Pups and Crochet family. I love you all. Mwah. Hugs and puppy kisses. And remember, adopt, don't shop. There's too many babies waiting out there for you. Bye.